Welcome back to the show. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a crew here, I appreciate your subscribe. Do remember, sharing is daring to wake someone up out of the matrix. So share this content with someone you'd like to see on the other side of this simulation. Now, you know I love it when you hit the like button. Do it for the algorithm. That way, I'll grow with them. Now, let's watch these clips. You do realize how scary it is that religious fanatics are running the world, right? Yeah, the only problem is their religion is Satan worship. You don't know! You do realize at least some of the horror and tragedy that has been inflicted on the human race in the name of religion, right? People always say, well, maybe their religion, but my religion is the good religion. My religion would never do anything bad. Don't even try to exclude your religion. Well, I'm not trying to exclude my religion. I'm just trying to say, why do you... You got a Masonic compass on your wrist. But what the hell, boy? What is going on here? Are you trying to invite me into Freemasonry? Cue the evil laugh right quick. <laughs> Even in ways that people don't realize, I've seen people get depressed because of their religion. People commit suicide because of their religion. Even if your religion isn't bombing people or making people drink poison Kool-Aid, you're still participating in inflicting this silent long death on some of the members that don't show it or talk about it. Is that even a Bible or is that a book of the dead? People silently struggle with not being able to live up to religious standards. This takes a toll on people. Wait, wait, wait. Let's add some creepy talk music and see if our perception of this dude changes. Really affects their immune system and it keeps them down all the time. And on the other side of the world, we're about to have some heifers sacrificed. This religion is going to sacrifice animals. Do you realize how scary it is that these are the people that have sway and influence over this earth? These people base their whole lives on superstition. I don't know. You got the Enron E on the table. Then you got, what is this, a, a, a star on the table? And um, hmm, still creeped out. Maybe even more so now. Wait. We're coming in. Dallas had made coming into Look this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Man, what a night this is. This is Who so unique. It? Wow. You could shoot that a Maybe thousand times. More than a thousand and that would never happen. Did you see that? That was the Masonic handshake. Putting the thumb over the hand. Like, that's not how you shake somebody's hand. That's the specific Masonic handshake to do that like that. More than a thousand. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What kind of night are we having? Rain delay. Oh, i never seen this before. <laughs> I have never in my life, in my life, seen that before. Here we go. I don't think I've ever seen this. And I'm in a, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you feel about this? You feel really good. You think you're going to make it? Oh, God. He's going to try. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kevin Chu for $1,000. Let me hear you scream. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. I have. Just by the laws of physics, that wouldn't happen. It would bounce. It didn't land. The other clip, it was like in between the rim and the backboard. That could happen. I've seen that on the basketball court before in the inner city. That happens. But where it just lands on the back of the rim and it just stays there, physics says that wouldn't happen. If you go and take the Earth's magnetic field map from USGS.gov and then lay it over a map of like a lot of these megalithic structures, all of a sudden you go, oh my God, they're all sitting on top of like high energy magnetic portals, basically. If you look at the Great Pyramid at Giza, where is it located? Directly at the center of land mass on Earth, not the center of the Earth, the center of land mass. There's only one way to get that calculation. You have to have a satellite orbiting in a polar orbit, scanning the planet as it spins on its axis to pick up all the topographical data. And then also the Great Pyramid, the height of it, matches the average height of all the peaks on Earth. Listen, the location of the Grand Gallery inside the Great Pyramid, when you look at the, the longitude, 
It's the same exact digits as the speed of light in meters per second. How in the world did they figure this out? The Great Pyramid is built on pi. All these magnificent, magnificent structures were built on pi because for some reason it taps into our inner consciousness, our inner being. Billy, I'm seeing he puts a lot of falsehood in with the truth, like a, a story gumbo. You got a little bit of lies, you got a little bit of truth, you got a little bit of fantasy, and I guess it's up to you to figure out. That's why I call it a little bit of story gumbo. When a man wants to get married, he's only getting married truly for one reason. Hmm, is that so? Well, the Lord God also said it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make for him a suitable helper. Genesis 2.18. Let's see if she says that. I'd be surprised. But hey, I'm not above surprise. I was really shocked that I was still alive after the eclipse. Wow. Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Wow. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Because let me be honest with you women, the men can work and provide for themselves. He does not necessarily need you to cook, clean, and have sex because he can get sex for multiple women. They're giving it out. A lot of them can cook and clean. Their mother taught them or they can pay someone to get it. The culture is telling them do not get married. So why would a man go past what the culture is telling him and choose to have a wife? Because with a wife, you can now have love, you can now have nurturing, you can have support, you can have affection. This is what he can't get from a roommate. So if that is not what you're leading with in your relationships with men is love, support, nurturing, and respect this is why your husband is now pulling away because in the beginning you gave him those things but as you got into the relationship you got bitter you got resentful you start seeing his flaws start counting that against him you start measuring him against other men and now you're pulling back on the love the affection hmm someone asked me in the comments why do you always do this woman stuff well because it's creepy that women believe you're not women but you are women but you want what a woman wants, but you deserve what a man just naturally gets. Like men don't get the stuff we get because we programmed it like that. That's the way the almighty made it. So it just seems pretty creepy. Women have been socially engineered to believe this because you don't just think like that. Now, women are supposed to be treated equally with dignity, respect, all of the stuff that guys get. But it's your husband that protects you. He shields you from this weird stuff. Weird men do. Your, your husband is your built-in security guard. Yes, you should be able to just go outside by yourself, women. You should. But there's wackos out here. Every guy is not a wacko, but you don't know which one is or isn't. There's crazy women out here. You should be able to lead with love and just be married. But there's women out here who want to kidnap your Ow! Amidst all the other creepy stuff that's going on Ghosts, goblins, trolls, witches, tarot card broads, sorcerers, demons, jinns, magicians And on top of that, your girl is possessed by walking around here looking all beautiful It's laughable, it's interesting, and I'm here for it Bruh Look, there's something flying through the air What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck? Yo. And then we all gotta mess around and deal with that. Tyson misses an uppercut, and the opponent makes a motion as if Tyson hits him in the stomach. My this looks rehearsed. He was supposed to go down with a body shot. It does look rehearsed because something else. They used to explain these things like phantom blows. Google that Mike Tyson and phantom punches or something like that. I remember hearing about that when I was young. Watch this carefully, because Tyson in the blue is a bomber. He's trained by no other than Dusty Amato. This isn't a knockdown. Tyson pushes him down with his left hand, and the opponent is laid out as if he's hit with a power blow. 
Even the way he's laying down looks fake. That right there, they'd say he hit him on the top of the head. Coral. Zivamul. In this moment, Tyson acts as if he's enraged. But you can clearly see he wasn't trying to hit the other boxer. Watch as he pushes the other boxer's head down. His left arm. In the same direction, Tyson swings, not connecting at all. And just to put the capper on this bizarre evening of boxing, following the fight, they weren't talking about tonight's fight, they were talking about Mike Tyson's next fight with Evander Holyfield. This is a part of why I believe Jake Paul is going to win this one. The physicists at the CERN facility in Switzerland said they found a ghost. Yeah, I didn't say it. The physicists at CERN said it. Of course they have. You've been looking for them for the past 30 years. They said they found a ghost. Okay, let's look into this a little bit. Before we do, wasn't one of the Marvel characters called Ghost? And didn't she have CERN-like abilities where she was like a collider hydron? You guys put it in the comments because I don't really be paying attention to that stuff like that. I like Marvel. I like comic books. I like all that stuff, but I'm not into the MCU. But tell me if they had a character that was similar to what I believe he's going to talk about CERN claiming they found. So they themselves said they found a 4D ghost in the particle accelerator. They measured and qualified an invisible structure that can divert the course of particles and create problems for particle research. Like I said, they're saying it, not me, that they found an invisible 4D structure. They describe this as taking place in something called phase space. And isn't that what this character did? She phased in and out and it had something to do with the quantum mania predictive programming much? The 4D invisible structure is a result of a phenomena known as renaissance. I hope I pronounced that word right. Uh, resonance. I mean, the guy is wearing cheese on his head. I thought he was a Green Bay Packers fan, but you never know. They also said the particles don't follow the exact path they want them to. They just fly away and get lost. So I don't know how this invisible 4D structure that makes particles fly in different directions is a ghost, but they said it, not me. So CERN found a ghost in their particle accelerator. Why am I not surprised? That's why you don't want to be famous. Because you have to wrap your head. Yeah, a girl I dated looked like Doja Cat. She used to hate it when I would say that to her, but you tell me, is the resemblance there? Well, Doja Cat before she was famous. The I'm a cow Doja Cat, not this new demonic Doja Cat. Cover your everything. You can't show your shoulders. It was a uh, huge part of my life for sure. And then we moved out. And I did shit so what are you excited to see in there today just gaslighting you but you need to be a part of the soft generation the soft guy era to be gaslit like this because generation xers we'd have threw tomatoes at her changed the channel but you guys oh you're all into this and the women you date 
Oh, they love this. So the bunny outfit is from a photo of when I was a baby. My parents just, I guess, liked dressing me up a lot. So they dressed me up as a bunny, and there's a photo of that just like on a random day. This dude saw my wife here was like, ah, oh, she's a four. I said, oh, only the black men. If she's not putting you on child support, throwing your clothes out on the lawn, stashing you in prison for 20 years, these black men don't want to date her. You're not toxic enough. This, hmm, I think this might even be a little too much for a toxic black dude. It's inspired by, you know, um, just like, I guess, either my own and then other stories that I've heard from people's childhoods kind of blend together all right ladies the men have decided if you can't beat them join them so drizzle drizzle to your sprinkle sprinkle okay at the end of the day you told men that they were toxic just for being men you told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man those things are all bad put them away okay they said no problem they have no problem being in their soft guy era so I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Actually it isn't. How else would this Bible verse come to fruition? What is it, Isaiah something? And on that day, seven women will take a hold of one man and say what? I'm, I, I am laughing out of a little bit of smugness. I am. I'm just saying. So for those of you who clicked off, right? Because some people clicked off when I said this thing about, you know, a girl that I dated. And then you saw the picture of all of us. We're getting closer and closer to this Bible passage coming true. That's the creepy part. Why is anything these people wrote 4,000 years ago true today? Ain't we supposed to be living like the Jetsons? Flying cars? Wait a minute. They do have flying cars now. They're called evil. Oh, oh, you didn't hear about those? Here, let me put you on. It's a flying car. And it's called the evil. What you'll see is you have a steering wheel. You can both drive and fly this car. If you look closely, the steering wheel will fold. And you can switch from drive mode to fly mode. We're actually getting flying cars. We want this for so long, it's actually happening. Right, so the new electronical vehicles are spelled evil. Hmm, but that's a video for another day. Make sure you sub to the channel so we can do a deep dive on it. Anyway, isn't that just spooky? Doesn't that just trip you out? He was saying there is a fucking island and they take all these rich politicians and, and some celebrities and they bring these kids. And I was like, come on. Convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein remains behind bars today on the latest child charges lodged against him so he's also the one who told me about bohemian grove so he went and snuck in to this place where former presidents go there's yeah. a photograph of it's ronald reagan with herbert walker bush and a couple other people all standing around and they would put on robes and they would worship an owl god and they would burn an effigy and then no one's denying that it's real so they're in with these bankers and former presidents and they're dressed like druids they're all worshiping an owl god for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Hey, so you've been lied to about this. Our founding fathers were not old, contrary to our current government. Every time I ask students to describe the founding fathers in three words, I hear old white men. But on July 4th, 1776, James Monroe was 18 years old. Aaron Burr was 20. John Marshall was 20. Alexander Hamilton was only 20. 
21 years old. Betsy Ross was 24. James Madison was 25. Thomas Jefferson was only 33 on July 4th, 1776. Meanwhile, the other day I'm watching the State of the Union and I feel like I am watching a live simulcast of the world's most expensive nursing home. If you are a teenager or a college student or a young adult and you want to make a difference, stop waiting for permission for leadership from the people who refuse to leave office and have been in Washington, D.C. longer than twice the time we've been alive, can't remember their own name, or who were born before the invention of the microwave oven. Yeah, that one hurts. Because despite what we've allowed to happen in modern society, our country is not supposed to be governed by the same people throughout their entire lifetime. And the world relies on young voices speaking truth to power. It did in 1776, and it still does in 2024. Now does it make sense? Why your black friends were saying Fight the power campaign Fight the power yeah, that was all the way back in 1989. But it gets better. That's why I put these two clips next to one another. Ten signs of a toxic relationship and what to do about it. Number one, you feel depleted, disrespected, drained and hurt most of the time. Number two, your family and your friends don't approve of the relationship or your partner, but you're ignoring them. Number three, your gut instinct flagged in the beginning of the relationship, but you ignored it and dived in. Number four, you've lost yourself, your self-esteem, your self-confidence. You are not the same person. Number five, you're being triggered a lot. You're constantly in the stress response due to conflict, conflict, conflict. There is no re resolution either for the conflict. And the conflict is there due to number seven, the mistreatment. There's abuse, maybe lying, cheating, unhealed addictions. And number eight, your health, your finances, your career, it's taking a toll on these areas. Number nine, you're attached to future change. You think there's a future potential that they will change or the relationship will change at some point. And number 10, your needs are not being met, but you're blaming yourself for the toxicity. I've long said I'm in a toxic relationship with my country, but not just me, you too. You might think the relationship is toxic for whatever reason you think it is, but I'm in a toxic relationship with my country and so are you my fellow americans but what do we do about that what you can do if you are in a toxic relationship is number one release the illusional dream that there's a future potential and that there's going to be a white picket fence look at the truth it's a black picket fence and this is entrapping you and this is hurting you release the illusional dream and connect to your gut connect to your gut instinct and ask yourself this honest honest question where is my relationship going and allow the answer to come up what's actually hilarious is the amount of women that are outraged by this soft guy era because basically these men are flipping the roles on them and they realize how ridiculous and unrealistic it sounds when a man says it by the way i just want to say to my black people you voted for joe biden and trans recognizable day you did that way to go negroes but then when they say it, it's not ridiculous. Again, fellas, on that day, seven women will take hold of one man. Me, I believe, it's just my own personal belief, they switched up the Bible, mixed the Bible, took stuff out, added stuff in, didn't tell you who wrote certain books to confuse people. Said Jesus said that, then later in the New Testament, no, Jesus didn't say that. I think this whole, well, the Bible is interpretation and my interpretation is better than yours. So you, I think all of that was meant to confuse us. But also I believe, it's my belief that that's the way the Almighty wanted it. Nothing would be happening unless the Almighty gave it permission to happen. Like some women have even gone as far as to call these men gay and act really homophobic towards them for simply asking for what they're asking for. And what I get from it, even if it is a joke, jokes aside, it's about reciprocation and it's showing how many women expect it automatically because their inflated egos are telling them that they deserve it no matter what without any reciprocation. And I don't know about you guys, but any relationship that you're in deserves appreciation, reciprocation. And I think a lot of you guys need to go back to kindergarten where we learn to treat others how you want to be treated. Because if you don't want to be used, then don't use people. If you don't want to be looked at as a paycheck, 
don't be a gold digger. If you want respect, you have to give respect. If you want someone to be compassionate and considerate, you have to be compassionate and considerate. And yes, this absolutely goes both ways. So the fact that so many women are showing the fact that they'll never reciprocate the same energy, this explains why so many men are out here, just match my energy, match my energy and I'll match yours. And the problem is it's not happening. It's the same way that so many women will come online and bash men and talk shit about men and and talk about their first dates being awful. But the moment that my platform or other women like me call out toxic behaviors, it's a problem. So y'all can talk shit about men and their toxic behaviors. But when women call you out on your own toxic behaviors, it's different. Anyways, drizzle, drizzle, kings.